So I was having a really rough day. I haven't been talking about it, but I was like getting so down about the fact that like I haven't been able to get big miles and all my friends are slack packing and they're ahead of me and I'm sad. And even the ones who aren't slacking are going fast and I can't go fast. And then I got to a road crossing where this trail angel named Honey Bun was here who offers slack pack. And now we're gonna be slack packing um, 16 more miles. So we're going to get 19 miles in today, which is going to feel really, really, really good to start getting bigger miles. And Gushers is super pumped. He's got a little hobo bag he's going to carry on his back. Um, I am carrying my backpack, but it weighs like seven pounds. So hopefully we can get these 16 miles in and no big deal before seven, which is when he's coming to bring our bags. And then we can camp right there with water. So I'm pumped. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Have fun! Get some good food for your resupply! Now we're slack packing and this is what Gushers is taking with him. This stretch of trail takes us from Laurel Creek Shelter to John Spring Shelter, which is about 36 miles during a heat wave. <laughs> I'm getting a video of you. They got a lot better. Wait, wait. <laughs> trail magic. Ah, oh, we just met another trail angel in here. Oh my gosh, there's. Oops. Can I take a seat? There's Gatorade in here. Look at this. Drinks for hikers. <gasps> oh my gosh. She loves everything patriotic. No. Dude, the lighting's terrible. I know. Oh my. <gasps> Did you get food? Yeah, I yeah, 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 Oh Are you serious about this pizza? Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's our stuff. And there's something in the front. That was going to rain, so I put a trash bag over yours. Oh, it's so nice. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Honey Bun, you're my favorite. <laughs> huh? She's <laughs> We had what? we got the Gatorade hey, soda. They had the second one. The, uh, the thing that I can't. Want to get? So I was literally just being totally bummed about like thinking that I'm at the edge of end of the bubble and I missed all my friends. We literally had four things of trail magic today. The guy who slack packed us brought us four huge piece pizzas. Um, and then safety patrol, ah, there's a bug on me, um, safety patrol was also down there and they had like this hiker feed and sodas and oh my gosh, it was so great. So now we're hiking like one more mile to get to our campsite. What a great day. Oh yeah, cool. Huh helping a little turtle across the road. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, yeah. There he goes. Oh, look at him go. You can do it. He's not going, but I think we scared him. My mother wanted me to take a picture of this monument, so we're walking to it. It's Audie Murphy, who I believe was the most decorated World War II soldier who died in a plane crash here. Here it is. This is so cool to see. It's sad what happened, but this is neat. Oh, wow. 
Look at this. Okay, let's look all around. Oh, wow. People are leaving, like, thanks for having So it is Monday, June 7th, and on the AT um, in Virginia. Gonna hit the 700 mile marker today. And I am struggling. Um, so we're in a heat wave, and we've been in it for a while. You're probably experiencing it wherever you are, too. And the trail has been extremely hard because of it and I'm not gonna lie to you I feel like I'm gonna pass out right now um yesterday was amazing we got to slack pack and got trail magic from like four different four different kinds of trail magic um it's amazing but today I'm just struggling and because of the heat I, yeah I feel like I'm gonna pass out um, no one's on trail. Like, we haven't passed one other person. No one's passed us. I'm with Gushers, and I don't know. I think we're, like, behind the bubble at this point, but or behind the bubble that we were in. Maybe we're in between a couple bubbles, but all of our friends are up ahead. Um, and, yeah, we're gonna go over Dragon's Tooth, and I'm just worried that I'll be able to do it without passing out, to be honest with you. The terrain... It's not bad. Like, I feel like if I wasn't burning up and just wringing wet with sweat, that the train, like, wouldn't be that bad. I think I'm just demoralized because everyone's like, oh, Virginia's easy. It's flat. You're going to be knocking out miles. And we've been in this heat wave for, it feels like such a long time. And all the water sources are dry. You have to carry a ton of water. And I just feel like um, I'm not knocking out the miles and... I'm not able to make up the miles that I need to at this point, and it is demoralizing. Um, makes you kind of think, like, do I need to consider a flip-flop? Um, so yeah, it's just, oh gosh, you can see my forehead. It's just, it's just hot. Dry bag, nice. I don't have a small little dry bag. This is the ninth trail magic we've got in three days. It's so great, so great. Yay, we just got it. Trail magic again, which is awesome. I was so thirsty. I drank three sodas, ate two donuts. <laughs> now I'm ready to conquer Dragon's Tooth. We're also going to hit the 700 mark, which is amazing. Dragon's Tooth, four miles. Here we go. Oh, man. So I don't know if I've said this, but we are hiking to Dragon's Tooth now. Um, just... I don't know, four or five miles away, maybe not even that. And the ledges and everything else. And I'm actually pretty excited. I think it's gonna be fun doing some rock scrambling. Um, but obviously it's gonna be hard too. So, but it should be super cool. And we're gonna pass the 700 mark in just a minute. Which I'm super stoked about. Um, so, it's been a hard day, but also a beautiful day with trail magic and all these fun things that we get to do. And hopefully, like thunderstorms were predicted. Hopefully it doesn't happen when we're up on Dragon's Tooth because that would be crazy. And hopefully it doesn't rain on us. And hopefully it gets a little cooler because it's still a lot of, still feel like I'm gonna pass out. But a lot of great things are happening today.
I'd like to check out Pickle Branch Shelter, but oh, I thought it said a half of a mile. It's a third of a mile. Probably not worth it on a day like today, but that's sad because it would be cool to see it. Oh well. Bye, Pickle Branch! Just walked into this magical forest that feels 10 degrees cooler than back there. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Yay, we made it to 700. Oh, what a moment. Sally, not your job. Oh, okay, hold on. in this hot hot weather today but we're about to go to dragon's tooth which gushers have been looking forward to yeah all day let's go to dragon's tooth i'm actually really looking forward to it it's gonna be great we can get cold off before this breeze feels so good though sitting on a really harsh rock but there's a breeze we hit the 700 mile mark yeah oh my gosh We made it to Dragon's Tooth. Some really cool rocks up here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's cool. What? Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh. This is kind of terrifying, but really, really cool. Yup. Totally is. Oh my gosh, I just took my shoe off and I was like, I think I blew up my sock. And I did. Ah. And Genji, why? <laughs> wow. No wonder they felt so bad. That's where we're going, Four Pines Hostel, right up here. So we just finished probably the most technical slash, I wouldn't say it was my hardest day, but I think it was the hardest like stretch of trail. Um, we rocked it. But a dragon's tooth was no joke. Coming down it, it was intense. It was like just a straight rock scramble. So I feel like my body's been through like a washing machine. I'm so glad to get a hostel night. Maybe they'll have a bed. If not, set up a tent. Four pines. Home for the night. Oh, oh, oh! 
no. So we get dropped off um, from the Four Pines Hostel. We're at this little gas station and it is so beyond hot that uh, we just have no motivation to hike right now. Um, it's like in the 80s and it's just miserably hot. There's no cloud cover. Um, so yeah, we're trying to figure out if we can get on trail and maybe find a city spot and take a nap or something and kind of just wait. I think we're only doing nine miles today, which we need to do more, but it's probably all we can actually do. So we are walking down the road and we're gonna go like maybe a mile or so where the water is and just take a nap and wait for the heat to pass. And then our plan is to hike 10 miles today to get up to McAfee Knob and cowboy camp up there if the weather's gonna hold off. Um, there's some bailout plans. We can always hike down to the shelter that's like 0.3 from there. Uh, Nobo, northbound. But it would be super cool to see. I think it'd be super cool to see the sun rise from there. So that's what we're planning on doing. We got to a spot that's got a creek. And it's got some flat spots, so we're going to be CS in here for a lot of the day, I think. Oh. Put my tent down to lay on. Get those electrolytes. And the beast. What? The beast? The beast. Yeah. Sorry, I saw a really cool uh, worm over here. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shaving my legs in the creek and it started raining. Really? Yeah. Are we supposed to have rain today? Um, not right now. It was not predicted. <laughs> Later we were. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That was nuts. I was literally in the creek trying to shave my legs and it started pouring down rain. <laughs> and um, I went and tried to set up my tent. Everything soaked. There was like puddles inside the tent. Disaster. I, it was not even expected to rain today. So that was just a crazy like little flash pop-up shower. They got everything wet and everything dirty. My tent set up. <laughs> like everything's dirty and wet. <laughs> well, now the tents are soaked, and there's only one solution to this problem <laughs> go back to the store and get pizza and wait for the tents to dry. Maybe a Gatorade. Maybe a water. Maybe we'll get crazy. Drink a water. <laughs> what a day. Well, we're sitting by the creek. Trying to avoid the heat. Taking a siesta to wait for it to cool off. And the rain started. We got drenched. <sighs> this 
So we did probably the worst thing you could possibly do, which was set up the tents. And now the tents are wet. Well, since we're here, I'm gonna work on my hydration. I'm gonna try to drink all of these before we leave. This is a trailhead. I guess we, we just well, we'll live here. We found our friend Chef though. <laughs> so he's gonna hike with us maybe a little bit, which is exciting. He drove us back down here. I think we're gonna try to head up to McAfee soon at some <laughs> point. <laughs> is that all your stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still kind of like muggy down here. Oh gosh, yeah, it's still like soaking wet. So we we're about to go up to McAfee Knob. We're sitting here, we got sucked into <laughs> Trail Magic Vortex again, 10 times in three days. Actually, thank you, Safety Patrol. They were, gave us, gave us um, Trail Magic for the third time in three days. So we've seen them every day, which was super fun, but we're all sitting around, um, hanging out, getting to see our friends we haven't seen in a while. And then Safety Patrol left and they yelled out right before they left that we're under a severe <laughs> thunderstorm warning. So we got all of our stuff, um, threw it under this sign. Now we're sitting here close to the road. So I guess if anything happens, we can just try to get a ride. But it's been, <laughs> it's been a super interesting day. Super Any interesting. Anything to add? Yeah, it's super interesting. Hopefully we're survive we survive this thunderstorm though. <laughs> like Oh, we'll survive. We literally spent how many hours have we spent shaking out our tents and making sure that they were, we're dry? Sure, we're good. At least four hours. Like literally sending out our tents and shaking them out. And now they're wet again. Or they're gonna be wet. And his is dirty because it's on the ground. Sorry, dude. Oh, it's starting. <laughs> this guy walked by. <clears throat> I think he's a through hiker. And he was like, You guys don't seem concerned. And then it made me concerned. <laughs> Hopefully, this little structure holds us and we don't get lightning on. That's the main thing. I don't care about water. I just don't want to get lightning. <laughs> just has a message. There's no chance that we get lightning on. We're in a gap. I think what happened was Ken had trouble checking in. Then all of a sudden Zoe kid came and said, oh, the one kid. McAfee knob. So we ended up waiting out that thunderstorm, which wasn't that bad. Hiking up to the shelter now. Hope to catch the sunrise in the morning. Oh, hey buddy. Hi. That's so good. A picture of the shelter but you are in it and we just knocked out that hike so fast and then we're gonna try to wake up super early chef's down there <laughs> and we're gonna um try to see mcafee knob for sunrise yeah might be i heard it's dry but i don't know yeah, rain today. Someone like a cockroach? No, but what happened one night was there was a pile. A mouse running in front of the shelter. You can see his little eyes. 
Oh gosh, she's gonna be hanging out. Wanted to hang out with us tonight. <laughs>